Fiance pushes me to invite my estranged family. I really don't want to. I appreciate if you give me your honest opinion as I've been pressured from everyone, except my aunt, to go against my wish. I'm a 30-year-old woman. I have been with my fiance Sarah for the past five years. We are the same age and we met at grad school. When I was 13, my loving dad passed away. He left a decent amount of money for me. My mom, within six months, got engaged to a guy named Bob. Bob had a daughter around my age. My mom married Bob within a year of my dad's passing. Bob really hated me from the start and didn't even try to hide it. He was saying stuff like how my mom should have sent me to boarding school, how if it wasn't because of my dad's inheritance, he wouldn't have me in his house, or how I'm a bull dyke because I was on our school's sports team and very athletic. He multiple times told my mom he doesn't feel safe when his daughter is around me. I wasn't even out of the closet yet. Used this as a reason to exclude me pretty much from everything. My mom, on the other hand, was going above and beyond to prove to Bob that she is the new mom of Bob's little princess. They ended up having three more kids. Basically, I was a roommate who did babysitting for my mom and her new family. I never had a birthday party or a special day. My dad's sister was amazing to me. I was at their place all the time. She and her family had birthday celebrations for me, and my mom was making excuses not to show up. And of course, the rest of them never showed up. I was really my aunt and uncle's daughter. They were amazing to me. When I left for university, I contacted my mom a few times, but she was always busy, so I just gave up. Here is the issue. Sarah, my fiance, comes from a very family-oriented background. Family is everything to her. Her family asked about mine. I said my dad passed away and my mom is busy with her family and lives across the country. She lives a one-hour drive from us, but this is what Sarah told them, so I just didn't correct them. I didn't lie technically entirely. Sarah asked me to invite my family to our wedding. I told her no. She says it's very embarrassing having only my aunt and her family on my side. I reluctantly invited my mom. She calls and asks me to apologize to Bob and my step and half-siblings for not inviting them and invite them all. I told her no. She said I'm being very ungrateful and Bob was a father figure to me. I had a big argument with my mom over this. My mom now says the only way she comes is if I invite Bob, his daughter, and their kids. Sarah is now pushing me to invite them all because she doesn't want to feel embarrassed in front of her family. These people never even gave me a card or said happy birthday to me, so I see no reason to celebrate my big day with them. I, on the other hand, don't want to let my fiancé down. I just don't know what to do. Should I swallow my ego and invite my family so my fiancé is happy? I suggested eloping, but Sarah is a firm no. Am I the A for ruining my fiancé's day by not fulfilling her wish? Edit. Sarah knows everything about my life. My aunt even talked to her about how they treated me when I was growing up. Edit 2. I will have a serious talk with Sarah tonight. I'll try to update soon. Now for the top comments before the update. Sarah can go kick rocks. She has no right to force you into an uncomfortable situation. It's great she has a great family. But so many people on earth do not. She may not understand it, but to actually say it's embarrassing? That's a bridge too far. If Sarah's embarrassment is more important to her than your comfort at your own wedding, 
you may want to put this whole thing on hold until you can come to terms and reach an agreement of understanding. This is not how you want your married life to start. P.S. Your fiancé is letting you down, not the other way around. Tell Sarah it will ruin the wedding for you. Have you told her how your mother and stepdad treated you? Explain that your aunt and uncle loved you, and your original family and stepdad did not. People with loving families cannot comprehend unloving families. I agree with this 100%. I will never understand why people insist that someone invite people they don't like to a wedding just for appearances sake. I'd be inclined to tell Sarah's parents all about what happened to you and explain that's why they won't be at your wedding. But I definitely wouldn't invite them. If you aren't already, I would probably go no contact with your mother as well. It sounds like your aunt is really your mom. Update. Thank you for all your comments and DMs. They really gave me perspective on my life. I sat Sarah down last night and explained my reasoning for not inviting my family. She kept saying that was a long time ago. They might not be the same people anymore. I felt offended and said, how on earth are you lecturing me when you've never even met them. Well, it turns out my mother had been in touch with Sarah. Sarah said they regularly meet for coffee dates and talk. I was about to cry because I was so angry. My mom changed the whole narrative, saying Bob was a real father figure, a good protective dad, and that it was me who doesn't love him back because apparently, it's my thing to play the victim. She claimed my aunt manipulated me and stole me from their family, trying to be a replacement for my mom. According to her, it's all about my mother. I screamed, are you for real? Ask her next time on your coffee dates why I never had a birthday party growing up. Why was there never a gift under the tree for me? Ask Bob if he even knows when my birthday is, since he's such a loving dad. Why did my aunt have to pick me up before Christmas Eve? Because Bob wanted to spend the holiday with his kids, not with another man's mistake. Sarah basically repeated what my mom had told me my whole life. You just love to make a big deal out of everything. Make yourself a victim and push everyone away. I told her she had no right contacting my mom. She said I was cruel and claimed she was just trying to help me mend my broken relationship. She even called my mom lovely and said Bob has changed a lot. He's now an LGBTQ ally now that his princess is out. I was floored. An ally? Maybe he should start by apologizing to me for terrorizing my entire childhood. I told Sarah, we are done. I can't do this. Sarah sarcastically said, you just proved your mother's point. Go run to your aunt. Let the old witch run your life. I told her she needs to find a new place ASAP. Considering she's not paying rent, I am. She got mad and asked what excuse I was going to make up this time to justify my BS trauma. I stopped replying. She went on a tirade, breaking our dinner plates. I didn't care. I texted my aunt, and she asked if I wanted to spend the night at her place. I said I was fine. I'm taking time off from work. I'm cleaning up the kitchen, which was full of broken dishware in the morning because I didn't want my cats to accidentally get hurt. Sarah is still sleeping. I'm going to see how I can legally evict her. I'm a complete mess, but I'll talk to my aunt and uncle for help. Yes, I am not starting to date again until I see a therapist and work on myself. I can't keep going through this. 
Get your cats out of your apartment until your crazy ex leaves. I never thought about it. I'll ask my aunt to take them until Sarah is gone. Thank you. And don't leave that house. Your ex has lost her mind and will have changed the locks before you get back. You have done the right thing. She was an awful partner who did not support you when you needed it. That's unforgivable. I'm glad you're not in that relationship, but you still have work to do before you're free. I hope you took pictures of everything she broke before you cleaned it. Make sure to pack all of your valuable things and leave them at your aunt's until she leaves. Take pictures of the entire apartment when she leaves. If she steals or damages anything, let her know you will be calling the cops. Personally, I would pack her thing in trash bags and leave them at the door. If you don't have cameras up around your place, this is a perfect time to get them. Make sure you are ready to change the locks when she leaves. Make sure to change all your passwords, including bank passwords, and that you cancel any credit cards of yours she might have access to. Also, it's just a thought. Can't you pack her things up in a trash bag and drop them off at her parents? Your ex loves involving your family. Maybe it's time you involve hers. Call her mom and let her know what happened. Don't leave out any details and let her know that you have broken up because of her behavior and actions. So you're dropping her things off at their place. And it would be an amazing idea if they helped convince her to move out now before you have to get the authorities involved. Also, I am very proud of you for finally taking off the rose-colored glasses and doing this thing for yourself. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this story, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment.